everyone. We're going to go over the Muay Thai round kick, which is one of the most powerful weapons in all the martial arts. What we're essentially going to do is take your leg and literally turn it into a baseball bat. Commonly, we're going to use the shin more than the foot. The shin's a bigger surface area, a harder surface area. Doesn't mean the foot is wrong, just the shin is better. Generally speaking, when you go to the legs or the body, we want to use the shin. When you go to the head, ideally you want to use the shin, but sometimes we'll be using the foot. Ready? Okay. We are going to go over the tie round kick right now. We're going to be talking uh, with Vivek using his right kick. His right kick, just for practice purposes, to my left rib cage. When we're doing this, in terms of the lower body, the three main cues, if I'm 12 o'clock, the circular clock, we're going to have Vivek. Number one, first cue, step to either 9, 10, or 11. Think of a V, a V step. Q2, pivot on the ball of the left foot. So as he steps, he's already pivoting on the ball of the left foot. Generally speaking, if you kick him with the right, the left heel is gonna be up. You can kick with the whole entire foot planted, all right, or kick with the heel up, either or. Now, third cue is turn the hip. So when Vivek kicks, his right hip's gonna turn facing that wall right down there. That was gonna be the cues from the hips down. Again, step past, pivot, turn the hip. If I'm 12 o'clock to my opponent, or he's, I'm his opponent, he's going to step past either 9, 10, or 11, like a B, B step. And so when he kicks, just in terms of the lower body, not too hard. All right, using a shin right here to my left rib cage. Go. Go. Now let's talk about the cues for the upper body. If he's kicking with the right, for right now, the right hand is going to do one of two things. Either slice, all right, or go to my face. Actually, a third option, we'll add a third option, is what we call a mini slice, all right? Now, his left hand is either going to go at the temple or come across the face as a shield. So, again, right hand, if he's kicking with the right, right arm's going to either slice, talk to the hand, put it right in my face, or a mini slice. Left hand, left arm is either going to go at the temple or come across his face as a shield protecting the head, all right? So, again, step past, pivot, turn the hip. If he kicks with the right, right hand either slices or talk to the hand. All right, hard, go. Go. Now, when you notice, when he kicks, he comes back to a fighting position. Generally speaking, for right now, that's going to be uh, uh, right ball of the foot, right heel up. Watch his arm positions as he also kicks. Go. Go. See the little step? All right, go. Go. As you can see, the shin is coming here. Me being a tie pad holder, generally speaking, when I hold the tie pads, I can either hold them together at an angle, or better yet, uh, like a triangle, so the, the power is dissipated across the tie pads. Here we go, let's do five hard right uh, round kicks to my left rib cage. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five. Now as you notice, he's exhaling every time he kicks. Thank you.